All right, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Um, you already saw my video in reference to uh, the heinous terrorist attack uh, that has taken place in New Zealand. Um, now I am watching the political theater and rhetoric take place, all right? We have really, truly have got to start to ask ourselves some real questions, some very real questions. You know, I, I talked about terrorism, how it seems to be nameless, faceless, countryless. You know what I mean? It's just a, a term that everybody's using nowadays. And of course, we see um, the political rhetoric take place. We're watching all the countries now coming out, and they're literally... Um, condemning the acts. And of course, that I mean, ain't know what they're supposed to do is just condemn the acts. Sure they are. Okay. What we really, really, truly need to do, um, and I have, before I speak on this subject right here and bring it to the forefront of our minds, um, I want you to do your due diligence. And of course, when I get time, I'm going to upload, or I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to put a link down below of somebody else's opinion, bringing forth facts. And, you know, I'm going to say this because I need to help stimulate thought. We need to ask ourselves a question now. And the question is this. Is white nationalism becoming a very serious problem in our country and in the European countries of this world? There's a war coming. There is a war coming. And the type of war that is coming to each and every single one of these countries is a civil war. It's happening. It's coming. Racism seems to be prevailing. And the reason why it's prevailing is because people just don't want to tell the truth about what's really, truly happening and taking place. And then when you watch... Um, President Donald Trump be slow um, to actually condemn and actually term it white nationalism. You know, it's amazing in this country, if a Muslim does something, Fox News, um, as well as other news media outsources, they have no problem whatsoever at all at identifying this person as a Muslim. Um, no matter what your background is, they have no, and I don't care what your ethnic background is, they have no problem defining it if it was a black person, um, if it was, well, they, they've becoming very reluctant now to start using black. But if religious affiliation, if, they're, if it was a Muslim or something like that, they have no problem identifying it. Or if you're some type of refugee. I, you know, I watched a news conference with President Trump uh, condemning the heinous acts of this, you know, this this terrorism, this violence. Uh, all these people, over 49 people getting their lives snuffed out. Uh, some Christ Church mosque, mosque, mosque over there. And um, it's, it's totally disturbing to me. And it should be disturbing to you too. that the president, in the midst of condemning this, he immediately goes to illegal immigration. Now watch this, the guy who actually went in and took um, an AR-15, I believe, and two shotguns, went into this Christchurch mosque and killed all these people, all right? He made a note before he went and did that and said the exact same thing that the president said is that there's an invasion going on in our countries of illegal immigration. Well, let's just tell the truth. All these billionaires and millionaires that own these big businesses, they have benefited greatly off the backs. And you don't even have to be a millionaire or a billionaire, just be a business owner. I mean, for instance, up here, you don't hardly see um, uh, the Mexican population that used to be up here 
five years ago. Is that right, Sister Carol? I mean, every time you turn around, um, what I, without disparaging anyone, what I would call the undesirables, the, the, the less than desirable white women up here in this particular country town, um, they will get married to Mexicans left and right all over the place, and, and, and they will have a lot of babies. Now, all of a sudden, it's almost like you don't even hardly see Mexicans around here no more unless they're working at a restaurant that they um, that they own. That's about it. But in the midst of this, I'm going to call it boom-bust economy, guess who was doing all of the field work up here? And I remember when I first moved up here, they called farming tobacco. Tobacco was all over the place. I mean, it covered the roads from one side to the next. You'd be fortunate if you even see a tobacco field now. But guess who was out there in the fields harvesting, staking that tobacco? The Mexican were. Guess who are the premier builders in these little townships? The Mexicans are. They are the block layers. They're framing houses. They're the brick layers. They're getting it done, making a lot of money and sending it home. You see, on one side of their mouth, the politicians, they condemn something, but then on the other side, they support it because have you been to their hotels and see who all works in these hotels? In other words, who are doing the jobs that nobody else wants to, want to do? And I said all that to say that an invasion of illegal immigrants, it's, and it's kind of odd that the president of the United States of America said the exact same thing that the guy who, happened to, who just so happened to be a white man, went over there and shot up and killed all them Muslims while they were at that place of worship. And, of course, the prime minister over there in New Zealand said our gun laws are going to change. Well, I'm hoping that she gets some sense about herself because she totally dissented and disagreed with President Donald Trump's political rhetoric. She actually states and says that white nationalism is a problem, right-wing terrorism. This is how I stated um, from the alleged so-called conservatives. I mean, let's just tell the truth. You got news reporters that are actually go into these conservative um, political conventions and they're getting assaulted. They're getting beat up. I mean, over in Virginia, we just had a man run over a white girl, a white man run over a white girl. Um, and But when you look at it, there has been actually more uh, white right ring terrorism that has taken place in the United States of America since 2015 up to this present point than there has um, this nameless, faceless terrorist um, acts, I don't know, be it a Muslims or um, Mexicans. When you really truly look at over here in the United States of America, there's more right-wing terrorism that's going on. White right-wing terrorism that's going on over here than is going on all across the world. And this is something that whenever it, it, it comes time for the president to condemn white nationalists, man, you ought to watch the Sammy Davis Junior tap dancing expo is going on. He'd be tap dancing. And you know the reason why? Because that is his base. That's his constituents. And you don't want to offend them too bad now. But let's, let's go on with this. Let's go on with some truth here and facts, all right? I'm not saying that there are not some bad Mexicans that come over here and do some very bad things. That's obvious. They do a lot of bad things. But guess what? White folks do a lot of bad things over here. Black folks do a lot of bad things over here. Just put it like this. Humans do a lot of bad things, period. But the political rhetoric and the theater that takes place and the pop that goes on in order to coerce and manipulate our conscience right here and to try to make you think that there's something wrong with everybody else, but there's nothing wrong with white folks. You know, just the other day, we all saw, I'm sure you all saw it, right? We saw a naked white man with 
a machete in one hand and a knife in the other, butt naked at a school. And we saw a bunch of police officers around there. Did we not see that? Guess what we saw? We saw this guy take off and, and charge the police officers butt naked. The police officers didn't have no guns out at the ready. They did not shoot him and they did not light his ass up. I ask you all a truthful question. If that would have been a naked black man on a, in a school zone, on a school property with a machete in one hand and a knife in another, what do you think would happen? I'm going to tell you what I think would happen. I would have think I would have thought that all 50 of those police officers, if it was that, they would have all had target practice. They would have lit his ass up. Period. But you know what they did? This guy even gets away with stabbing one of them. They, they and they tackle him, restrain him, put him and take him down and put him in the paddy wagon. You know just what well as I do. If that guy was any other color in the United States of America, that man would have been dead. That's a fact. It's sad what's going on, and I'm watching the powers that be manipulate the common people in this country. I'm watching them um, stoke and light the fires of racism. There is a civil war coming. There's a war coming in all countries. There's a war coming, but I'm going to tell you what. I think that what we should be more attentive to more than anything, did you see all them Muslims out in protest all across this world? And I might add you, there's a hell of a lot of white Muslims. That's what I saw, a hell of a lot of white Muslims. Matter of fact, they're diverse. And I tell you what, I think that people should be paying more attention to that right there because that one terrorist act right there just got finished stirring up a hornet's nest. I believe that the powers that be have got us all slated for war. What saith you?